one kind of speaks to the way you like to play games more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hit enter. Ready? Oh. There's going to be a little brief text introduction, and I'll kind of explain elements of the HUD to you guys so that you have an easier time playing the game. Now, I've got to warn you, um, we purposely make combat very deadly. So you need to learn how to dodge well, you have to hide behind stuff, because uh, taking on a lot of enemies at the same time will be disastrous. Okay. Summon? Yeah, so uh, there's actually a full crafting system in the game. We turned it off for the demo. But uh, you're going to be gathering resources throughout the course of the game. You're, you're going to use it to upgrade your weapons, make armor, make utility items, all kinds of different things in the game.
going up against a lot of them. Yeah. I was surprised it lasted that long. Did it respawn in as soon as I can? No, it will not respawn. You, you've cleared the way all the way to where those guys were. Okay. Now the world is procedurally generated, so um, you so can actually like hair gates, uh, in a way, yeah, in, in a lot of different ways. Okay. So everything is uh, randomly generated, so the, the world might not be exactly the same every time you regenerate the world. But you can regenerate the world and then and have a whole new set of encounters again, more resources. To... The idea behind Remnant is that there is a story campaign that takes you from Earth to three alien worlds. Right? And then as you visit those worlds, you actually unlock the ability to regenerate those worlds so you can, you can journey back there again and get more resources, fight more boss monsters. So that's an interesting resource. That's a natural resource. You can either harvest it for, for uh, recipe ingredients or you can shoot it, it'll explode. So you do damage to enemies in the area. Uh, we want to do that with most of the natural resources. We have multiple ways of using it. Sometimes the enemies will drop them, so we want ammo to be uh, the kind of resource that you that you have to worry about when you're fighting. Uh, try to conserve as much of it as you can. Obviously, sometimes you have to rely on expending a lot of ammo, but we want ammo to be a stress point. There's a, that red the red drop on the ground is, a, is ammo. A uh, green one will be long gun ammo, so that'll be for your shotgun. Nice. All right, you made it out of the subway. So once you once you once you exit the subway, I'll kind of explain what's what's next. When you emerge from the subway, you're going to notice a red a crystal on the ground. Mm -hmm. When it activates, uh, what happens is it becomes a checkpoint. So when you die, instead of respawning all the way back at the beginning of the subway, you'll respawn from the checkpoint. It will also replenish the dragon hearts. Mm -hmm. So if you use up all your dragon hearts, you'll, just, you'll go back. You didn't use any. And it will also, when it happens, what happens when, you, when it activates. Notice how it, it will replenish all of your ammo as well. Okay. So if you, if you can make it to a checkpoint, you'll get a replenishment of all the stuff that you can fight. Super. Uh, no, just go to the leave checkpoint. And then just head down the street. We'll come back to that, you know, we'll come back to that in a minute. There's a, there's a secret that I want to show you guys after you've uh, mm -hmm. seen the other parts of the map. The team worked very hard to make sure that the, the environment feels like a blast of Earth. Like Absolutely. Earth. So everything in the everything you learned in the subway, you're gonna have to rely on that here. This is actually the smallest boss we have in the game. We have bosses that are bigger than some of the buildings that you see there. <laughs>
he calls reinforcements when he does that, so be careful.
I said before, we want to make sure to present players with really interesting environments to fight in. Um, the art team goes to great lengths to make sure the environments are beautiful, have a lot of mood to them. And, uh, I think it shows.